Another example of extremely poor judgment. This happened in Utah. Mm -hmm. So a couple was getting married. They were transporting some furniture. And one of the articles that they were transporting was a mattress. Of course, got to have somewhere to sleep. And so the dude, Alex, said to his bride-to-be, they were getting married the next day. Oh, no. Lydia. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, he said, hey, honey, why don't you just, you know, lie on top of the mattress? So many reasons. <laughs> on the, In the back of the truck. Now, just so you know, this story ends with everybody being okay. Mostly okay. Okay, the bride <laughs> had, what, um, chipped teeth? Oh. And significant road rash. Because Man. as you can imagine, when Alex hit 50 miles an hour going down State Street in Provo. He went that fast? You should never go that fast moving any furniture, let alone furniture holding your wife. (laughs) I wish I could have seen it. Oh, my gosh. I I mean, no, I don't. I don't wish because I actually don't do very well with gore. Yeah. But just I'm sure it happened in an instant. The wind just caught the mattress and picked her on up. I'm sure she felt the mattress flutter a little bit as the air collected under it. And then. Oh, no. Just just went flying out of the car. (laughs) But. Uh-huh. So, uh huh. So we won't show you the gory pictures. Actually, I was gonna show them, but we won't. On well, this. there's one where she's cleaned up a little after that, and she doesn't look too bad. And in fact, it almost happened on one side of her face. Oh, so she's so like they took face. a lot of the pictures. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they took a lot of the pictures from the side, and she looks <laughs> just radiant. Right. Well, it's just also- gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> just consider how much money they could have saved on things like Photoshop. Band-aids, hospital bills, um, makeup, scar removal in the future for just a pair of what, like $5 tie-downs? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hell, even just some like really sturdy twine. Alex <laughs> learned what tie-downs are that <sighs> day. And this was just last week. See, and that's why fathers are really important. Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Get your dad some tie-downs for Father's Day. <laughs> He's already got him. Okay, that's not necessarily true if you stole his and now you owe him some. Yeah, right. (laughs) Um, I think that's how everyone gets their tie downs is that they steal them from someone else. The story gets a little bit better, though, (laughs) because this happened on June 5th. Mm. June 6th is National Secure Your Load Day. (laughs) So now Alex and Lydia have partnered with the Utah Department of Transportation to make public service announcements for National Secure Your Load Day. Oh, and that's their anniversary, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Happy anniversary, honey. Oh, that's such a bummer, I got you some tie down. Man. And can you imagine, like, they spent all this money on the wedding, and then the day before. Oh, what a bummer. Poor gal. The good news is they got to use that mattress later that night. So That's um, true. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, here's the thing, though. I think that this is even more proof <laughs> that you should spend the day before your wedding at the spa and nothing else. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Only getting like very low key treatments. Nothing crazy. Right. You're yeah. you're a princess for 48 to 72 hours right. before the wedding. Yeah. Yeah.